video. This is Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis and today we are with Floss Tube 37. So yes, uh, as you can tell I'm sat downstairs instead of upstairs today. I was pivering and pothering whether to do a colouring chat but yesterday, um, well the night before I did quite vigorous dancing <laughs> To try and get a bit of exercise in and last night i think i actually managed to do my back in a little bit <laughs> just a little bit so i was in bed early and um yeah i just i feel like i can't sit at the table um because of my back so i a comfy chair not to mention you've got splodge and scamp in the background our two tribute cats to pingu that we lost and we've got brandy there and we've got a bit of football bed there. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we've got my husband right there. <laughs> so, for today's video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Um, because I've been doing a fair bit of cross-stitching. And I thought, I have been working a lot on what I showed you last time in the previous videos. But, because I didn't want to show you consecutively the same thing in every floss tube video I didn't want it to get boring for you guys I thought we'd have a look at some of my finishes so far what I've done and also some bits and bobs some like stash that I've got in my collection like kits and fabric and as we go along I thought we could have a sort out with what I don't use and what I could take with me to the stitching retreat next month. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing nothing but talking about it. And my husband's like, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> He's just smiling by the side of me. So, finishes so far. This is not all of them because some of them I have either gave away as gifts or... There is one which is the Titanic one which you'd have seen in my first Floss Tube video but that is currently hanging up on the wall next to our Titanic um, main memorabilia bits and pieces so I thought we'd do the other stuff. So I'm just going to get, I've got my box of stuff there, I've got a big cabinet and I've got cross stitch kits and fabric and god knows what so I thought we'd we're not going to do all of it today obviously because the video for going for too long but I thought we could do it in so many parts um, so it would be something interesting to do we can have a look what we've got so we're going to have a look at kits finished so far so I have you have previously seen this uh, not so long ago actually this is one of my um, would it be my most recent finish it possibly might have been my most recent one um i stitched a gecko rouge design this is by thomas i keep saying thomas it's not thomas it's tom fedro gecko rouge and this is called chances i stitched that using dmc threads on a 20 now this is supposed to be a 25 count magic guide even weave but thinking about the fabric now, looking at it, I have all recently ordered, I'm recently doing a project with the same fabric and that's a 28 count. So I'm kind of wondering if I did stitch this on a 28 count now. But that is my most recent finish. I absolutely love that. It was the first time that I'd worked on any other fabric really besides Zayda first time I'd worked on even weave and magic guide now I absolutely love it I really really do love it um as I said I'm stitching another haid on 28 count magic guide which I've started I haven't done too much at the minute so that's my most recent finish another finish now I finished this oh do you know something? I wish I'd have got a notebook and I wrote in the notebook. <laughs> Landslide. I wish I'd wrote and written <laughs> in a notebook 
when I'd finish these because that would help an awful lot. So this one, the next one I'm going to show you is my Hansel and Gretel. Now this is from the Boffy Freds range, the fairy tales. Now here you'll notice it is a bit lighter there compared to the rest. The reason being for that is because I initially thought this was supposed to be stitched two over one, two strands of thread. And it's on 14 count uh, hand eyed Ada. However, <laughs> when I read the instructions a little bit later, because I thought I can see the fabric through the stitched piece, I found out I was supposed to be stitching three over two, three over one. So I made a little boo-boo. Now my friend who I went to a couple of the cross-stitch retreats, she mentioned about going over the same bit with just one strand. I did try that for a couple of stitches but it didn't seem to make any difference and I thought you know what I'm just it's gonna be just in our house anyway so I thought I'm just gonna do the rest um, with three over one I absolutely love that and as I said it's called Hansel and Gretel fairy tales range by Buffy Freds I love these these are so easy to do they're really really enjoyable um that one's probably about the third one I've stitched now the third piece that I've stitched by the fairy tales range absolutely love that I finished that it might have been last year that I finished that one. Um, I know it. I was stitching on it on the October retreat in Milton Keynes. I'm sure I was in 2019. So I possibly have finished it last year during the full COVID lockdown. So the next one. Now I did do this through the lockdown because I remember I started it when the lockdown started and I finished it throughout the lockdown. So this is my lockdown piece. Now I can't remember who this is by. <laughs> I didn't have I didn't read it. I know I got it from I got the kit. It was I think it was from a freebie table from one of the stitching retreats. It was the crew uh, February 2019 I think it was a German kit that um, I was lovely I was gifted by um, Gemma Dreaming in Ada and oh yeah that was on the freebie table and I thought I'd stitch it for my daughter as I said I started stitching it um, on the February retreat February retreat me on about retreats i started stitching it in march it was march last year like i said when the um lockdown started and i finished it in the lockdown it's on 14 count ada and it was two over one and i, I like that i love how it turned out it really turned out really really nice very very cute so my next piece, now <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this but I'm going to have a sip of my coffee <laughs> so my mouth's a bit dry good thing about that I don't slurp so <laughs> anyway well I do I normally slurp so, <laughs> thanks for that <laughs> he said no I just burp instead maybe I should have done this video <laughs> upstairs so the next piece, um, I started, oh God, when did I start stitching this one? I started ages ago um, and again, I think I might have finished this throughout the lockdown last year. This is a, of a pug dog. Now this was, oh, I don't know whether it was a Joy Sunday cross stitch. Um, I know it was printed on the fabric and then when... I finished the kit, I washed the fabric and all the print came out. I thought it turned out really, really cute. I did run out of a few of the colours, however, I was able to kind of get round it. It had a fair bit of back stitch in it, which, you know, if you've watched my previous videos, I hate back stitch. 
really not a backstitch person but yeah I managed to get that done and I finished that little cutie pie so yes I think that was a lockdown finish as well so on the next oh wow I didn't know I've got all this lot we've got a little piece here of a card now this one says happy christmas i don't know when i'll stitch this i think i was supposed to use um i did do a little bit of outlining for the pup but i think i was supposed to use it for the reef as well going around the pup but like i said because i don't like back stitch i got away with it so yeah we've got the mount frame to go with it I obviously haven't got it framed yet. I did that a while ago now that um it's been some time. Been some time. Now the next one. Do you know I don't remember stitching this one? I think I'm wondering. I think my mother in law might have stitched this for me. I think she did, because like I said, I don't remember doing it. Um, unfortunately, she's no longer able to stitch because of um, her fingers and obviously, unfortunately, she does suffer with a lot of pain. So, but this is a piece that she took over from me and she stitched. So I'm going to show her work. That was done a while ago now. And obviously it's on 14 count dark blue Ada of Winnie the Pooh. So we did, well, she did that one. So the next one, I've got quite a few finishes here and I've not framed any of them. Now the next one is stuck together. <laughs> now this one, oh, you'd have seen this in my first little videos. This is what got me back into stitching. Um, I'd not long lost my dad unfortunately in 2016 and I think one day I was just sorting through the stuff in the spare room and I picked this out um I'd started it but I hadn't finished it and it was a kit that my dad had got me himself he went to Arby Craft and he picked it up for me and he picked it up himself um, and I thought you know what I'm gonna finish that off in like a memory of my dad and since then I've not stopped stitching this is what actually brought back my stitching mojo this was of a dog um is it John Clay I want to say John Clayton but I don't think it was could have been heritage crafts not sure <laughs> so I'm 14 count Ada two over one and oh that was one of my proudest pieces like I said I finished that um, when my dad had passed away I just grabbed it back out and thought you know what I'm going to complete that so yeah I completed that so the next one now oh gosh I remember stitching this I started it now this was when I was still when I was doing um, oh, Unique the make when I was with a makeup company and I'd gone over to visit my friend in the West Midlands and it was when I was going to one of the unique conventions and I started this in bed of a night um, and I finished it so I think this was about 2017 roughly um, this is another Buffy Fred's design by Fairy Tales and this is a pumpkin house I love that look how cool is that yeah I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it this is what kicked off my Buffy Fred's rain um Buffy Fred's brain fart <laughs> <laughs> help me out kicked off my Buffy Fred's passion passion yes do you know something it's a good now job I've got <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm glad you're here now you see <laughs> I'm glad my husband is here so yeah, this is how, um, yeah, why, yeah, <laughs> there it is, <laughs> what kicked off my Buffy Fred's uh, passion. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that, not to mention the Ada that it's on, absolutely gorgeous. 
So my last finish, now we're into about 15 minutes of the video now. My video only likes to go for about 28 minutes and I've just finished. I'm still going through the finishes. So the next one is another Buffy Fred's um, range. Now I have fond memories of this one as well because I remember taking it with us when we went to Prest Haven um, in... Was it 2018? It wasn't last year, obviously. It wasn't 2019. It was about 2018, and I remember of the night time um, when the little <coughs> one. Night time. <laughs> well, you're giving away stuff. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I remember the night time, which the the evening. The evening time. You're looking a bit flushed though. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, the lighting on the camera's not showing it much. I put blusher on. Anyway, yeah. Um, the evening time when the little one said, I would say I'd gone to bed and to sleep, but we know that <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> but, but yeah, when it was kind of bedtime for them, uh, my husband was, what was you doing? Uh, writing. You was writing because my husband's a um, independent writer as well, so he was writing and I was sitting on. We were sitting in the caravan. I was sitting on the um, sofa bit with my feet up, right by the window with the window open. Just oh, it was lovely, really nice. And I remember sitting there working on this one. Now this is Peter Pan. I worked two over one on this as well and I'm thinking now I probably should have done three over one but hey I'm not gonna go and pick it all and do. <laughs> like I said it's for home so yeah I f I didn't finish it on holiday but that's when I was stitching it and absolutely love it absolutely love it I love these I have got quite a few other kits by these by the Buffy Fred's range so the last one I've got in my finish, in my finishes, is now I was stitching this at, it was the crew retreat in 2019, July, yeah it was, because I remember when I went to the retreat we were sitting in the meeting room downstairs waiting for the big room to open and I remember stitching it there. Um, it was the retreat that I met the lovely Tish Roberts um, from and yeah was it yeah it was that one now this one is a Viveco kit and it's a, of a mother and a ch baby mother and child I think I messed up a little bit on the hand down there not sure what I did wrong um, but I think I did mess muck up a little bit there. But the rest of it turned out well. The baby, oh, the baby, absolutely gorgeous. And I finished that there at one of. Did I? No, I don't think I did finish it at the retreat. I was stitching at the retreat, but I didn't finish it. So yeah, that is a piece that I was stitching at the retreat, and that was two over one on 14 count Ada so that is my finishes I have quite a few finishes none of them framed <laughs> well my Titanic's framed that was framed um, years ago oh gosh yeah because I did that for my dad mm. So now, I don't think we're going to get through all this box because of how long I've took to do that. However... Do it in two parts. Well, I'm going to do it in a few parts anyway. So I just need to figure out what I've done and what... The stuff that I've done, I could always put in a little carrier bag, put back in the box and I know that I've done them. So... I wonder what this is. No, seriously, I wonder what it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's fabric. <laughs> yeah, fabric glow. 
I've got more fabric. Um, let's have a look where I've got. What's that down there? Well, I've got two ring things. Hey, these are different. You're very descriptive today. Ring things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ring things. These are to hold like floss bags together. I bought these a while ago from Lakeside. You've got like a little clip there. You open it. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper alert. You open it, hook the floss bag. <laughs> floss bags over there, and you just clip it shut again. I've got two of those. My husband's creasing himself up for laughing there. He's finding it hilarious. So. That's why she doesn't do it around me normally. What? <laughs> yeah. First piece. Yeah, well, you all know what. Uh, you did the last time I was do, doing something on live. That doesn't sound better for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Windy pops. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, the fabric. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm not sure what it's called, but I know it is. Do you know, I think this is... It's not a 14 count because it looks too small to be 14. I think this is about a 16 or 18 count. I did use some of it, so about half, so I've only got that small piece left. Um, that would be quite nice for maybe a Lizzie Kate chart. Obviously, I don't own any Lizzie Kate charts, so. But yeah. The next piece of fabric, we'll do this one next. Now, I brought this at the. 2019 retreat uh oh i don't know what fabric this is i brought it from the lovely charlotte um from woolly hatted stitcher now i think it's where is it i don't think it's even is it even weave it's really soft now i have got a couple of stitches there when i went to initially stitch my death by cross stitch on this but then I found I wasn't used to the fabric at the time, so I decided not to do it on there. But I've got a fair amount of it, so I can do a very large project on that. It always comes in handy, because you never know when you need this fabric that you've got. And the last piece of fabric that I've got here is... Yeah, we've got the back here for the organised rings. It was stuck to me over back. Where have I put them? There we go. Organising rings. Organising rings, that's what they're called. Organising rings. So, the next piece of fabric that I've got. Now, this is... Where is it? 16 count i think it's like an oatmeal ada it is very off british because <laughs> i use some of it to do like a design on and i kind of cut it and yeah that's what the fabric i've got there it's a little feels a little bit more cardboardy that one does that's why I oh. I was gonna fold it Oh, you thank you. <laughs> yeah. So that is that bit of fabric that I've got. Oh, I've got so much in here. Now this kit, I've got a piece of card from Gecko Rouge. Yeah, I think we can let that go. Leftover threads by Gecko Rouge, because you never know if you're sh shorted like a colour. They are DMC colours, but the only problem is Gecko Rouge. The the number and they put the symbols on but they don't actually write what shade they are they're like the dmc number so it makes it a little bit more difficult there um however i do keep them for if i want to make something small or if i'm short of a color you forgot one. Oh, sorry rebel so the next thing i've got now this was a kit that i'd actually won on 
or another floss tube video it was do you know I forgot a name Oh, <laughs> yeah. If I remember, I'll put it in the descriptions below. It was a while ago now. It was um, to adopt a whip, and I've got some threads here. I don't think that's all the threads are for that because it doesn't seem there. Yeah, I think there's more threads somewhere for that one, but this is what it is anyway. It's picture of wolves. It's stitched on 14 count Ada. I didn't stitch that. Um, the lady had obviously stitched that and I just adopted it. Um, I do need to obviously carry it on and I have probably got the package in somewhere. But that is what that is. That is what that is. And I think we've got time to show you one more thing. Uh, I thought we did a whole box but yeah. Um, we've got more threads from the Gecko Rouge left over. Oh, I like that one. Which one? Mm, this top. one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I've got to know. We haven't really got time to do that. We'll do that next time. Um, all right. The last thing I'm going to show you is just a chart because yeah, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm going to have to, what I'm going to have to do is put all this stuff in a carrier bag so I know that I'm showing you that. So the last thing I'm going to show you, I brought this at a stitch and retreat in crew. This is Ink Circles and it's Reflections of Paris. I absolutely love that. It just reminds me of a mandala and I think, sorry about the glare, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, lovely lovely chart should be really easy to do relatively easy so I'm quite looking forward there's just that much stuff I want to stitch and not enough time to stitch it in but I'm gonna do some stitching in a minute so I think so your confidence level in that chart dropped in a matter of two seconds <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean my confidence level? It should be really easy to do. It should be fairly easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before though. I've got something I'm like, God, this is really, this is really easy to do. And then about 10 minutes later, oh my God, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, and that's when it usually gets flung across the room and I have to duck. <laughs> I was heavily pregnant at the time. I was heavily pregnant at the time and my thread just kept getting knotted. I wasn't having the best time, so my stitching nearly ended up through the bloody old window. With my head attached to it. <laughs> God, you can just make me sound like a right one here. So yeah, that is that one. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get going now. I hope you've enjoyed this quirky <laughs> video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please leave a <laughs> comment in the, con in the description. <laughs> yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I really, really enjoyed doing this one, I must say. I really have. I enjoy doing them all, but I think it's extra special when you're laughing your head off and you're crying at the same time. So, yeah, we've shown you half of this box, so... These videos may be more sections than I realised, but they're not going to be consecutive because obviously consecutive. But obviously, I won't be doing the consecutive because I'll be doing my colouring videos. So we have got um, brain fog. <laughs> We have got the finished uh, pictures to do next time. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going now. I think I really, really need to go. <laughs> um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos. <laughs> oh, God. He's here. Hello, darling. So, anyway, I'm going to get going, guys, before the phone cuts out on me. If, um, yeah, so if you enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to press that subscribe button. Or Randy will come and get you. <laughs> no. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going to get going for now. Give kiss. Give everyone else a kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.